Hey guys, Matt here from Knitting Made Perfect. We're just going to do a quick video here showing you our new load cell bullet seating press. So we've got a couple of cases here which have uh, slight variations in them to give you guys an idea of what you might see uh, when using this tool. So this is Lapua brass which we've pre-prepared. Uh, we've done several different variations so we can show you the big differences uh, that show up on the, uh, the bullet seating press. Okay, so this one here has been shot and annealed twice. Yes, it's and got tooth owl uh, neck in, uh, uh, interference fit or neck tension. <clears throat> okay, so let's just get into this. On the uh, software here, I'm just going to go and call this uh, annealed and twice fired. Okay. So let's take a bullet, put it in the case. These are uncharged, they've got no primer because we're just showing the, uh, the neck tension on this. So Ellie Wilson seating uh, die. Just making sure this is all good. Okay, and we can press the button. Okay, so that's our first trace, and I can actually adjust it here, so I'll make that. This uh, peak here, by the way, that's when the load cell maxes out as part of the drive, so. Yeah, do you want to just show the width, the width pick up the pen and show what's happening? Yeah, yeah, happening? I'll just uh, horizontal, I'll make that larger again. That a little bit smaller. Okay, so what we're seeing here is the initial load as the pressure builds up but before the bullet is starting to move and then as the bullet moves the load which is on this uh, y-axis here uh, gradually increases as the brass, as more and more brass is uh, gripping the bullet. Uh, that's, so the bearing surface is increasing and there you can see there's a slight dip and then that's where the die bottoms out. Okay. So that is uh, twice fired and annealed and uh, sized. Okay. So that's uh, number one. So this one here, what's the difference with that one? That's exactly the same as the first one, but what you're gonna do now is okay. brush the carbon out of this. We found that this makes quite a difference. Just pure, this is a dry nylon brush. There's no, uh, no lube on it whatsoever. It's just purely to brush that carbon out. Now let's look at uh, what a difference that makes. So absolutely identical apart from the brushing. So I'll put that in there. Just gonna go armed and I'm gonna call this one brushed. Okay. And armed and so if you compare that one to the previous one, we've actually halved our load force. Our just, seating force. Right, so it's just by brushing the carbon out of it. Yeah, I'm just going to make that a different colour here, so I'll make that red. So there you can see a massive difference there. Okay. Oh, by just so you're aware, that bottom scale there is, uh, is time in seconds. Uh, sorry, not seconds, well though, those numbers are arbitrary right now. This is a prototype, um, but we may have this in distance in the future. Okay. So, okay, we can take that one out. Okay, now the next one has been not annealed, it's been shot four times, no anneal. Okay, and I'm brushing this one as well. Yeah. Okay, so as we've just seen, the brushing makes a massive difference. And four passes with the brush each time. I'm just going to quickly arm that and I'm going to get rid of annealed. So we know that's just shot two times and brushed. Take the bullet into the die. Okay, and everything's good, and here we go. Right, so that's actually lower starting force again yep. than the annealed stuff uh, was. So why do you think that is, uh, Alex? Well, that is because the uh, of spring back out of the die. What we uh, the sizing die we used for this was a Reading bushing die with no expander. So what has happened is that the uh, the brass or the, the neck of the brass has sprung back out of the die as it came out because it's no anneal, it's too hard, and that means that it's gripping the bullet lighter, hence it makes a lower trace. Right, so basically it's the interference fit yeah. is uh, bigger, and That's therefore right. it doesn't grip the bullet as much. Yeah. And you can also see um, the consistency with how long it took to seat the bullet compared to the annealed one. Yeah. Okay, so this one here was we changed the bushing. Changed the bushing. This is one thou more interference fit. So we've gone from a, a, a two thou neck tension to a three thou neck tension. 
brushing the carbon out of this one as well. Okay, so I'm just going to call this uh, three pair. Three B because it's the number three bush. Okay. okay. So you're taking the case, the bullet, the press, making sure it's armed. Okay, and we're ready to go. This is probably going to work the machine pretty hard. So you can see here the bushing uh, change is more than what uh, you get with the um, unannealed stuff here, but it's still less than the annealed stuff we have with the with the with the carbon on it. Yeah. Yep. So I mean, you can see a lot of variations based on a few things that we've changed. Uh, this last one here is going to be quite an interesting one, where we actually change the seating depth to put the bullet below, so it seats past the neck and yeah, shoulder. Do you, want, do, you want, do you want to just show um, where the bullet is seated down to, if you grab a loose bullet and okay, show so. it This is how far we've been seating so far with these ones. So seating, the pressure ring of the base of the bullet is above the neck shoulder junction. <clears throat> okay, so I've got to brush this and I've got to adjust the die. So where's the LMP here? And you want that Take it right down. Right down to the last. Right, that's as far as it'll go. I'll just lock it. Okay. Right, so what we should see, I'm just going to um, get rid of all of this. You can just uh, pause that, pause the video and have a look uh, for yourself. And if you just come across here and see the legend, so that way they can see. Uh, what each one means. So just there we go. All right. So cool. I'll just uh, clear all these. And okay, uh, just clear this one. Okay. So this one is going to be. Oh, well, I don't need to name it. I'm just going to call it one. Uh, take the bullet. Now we should see a quite a different looking plot. So armed and all right. Scale it up. Now what you're seeing here is pretty normal start, and then as it goes up, what happens is the as the as the bullet goes past that neck and shoulder junction, the actual force drops because there's no more brass underneath the uh, bullet when it's being pushed in, and the only force that's gripping it now is the outer wall of the neck of the, on the case. So yep. the, the force drops. That's where the die actually bottomed out. So you can actually see quite clearly. Um, the transition. And that'll be quite uh, interesting, this is pretty new brass, but that'll be quite interesting looking for donuts as well, we're pretty sure that's going to show that. Right, so that's it basically guys, this is uh, all tying in with our annealing under the microscope part 4, we're going to be demonstrating this uh, in uh, next week at the um, Precision Rifle Expo at Blakely in Georgia. Cool, maybe we'll see you there. Mm.